Hello. All right. So I got a question about uh, why are we getting the PCB footprint or the warning footprint SMD1206 underscore LED specified in PCB footprint, for instance, D2 is missing. So if you double click on here, it'll take you to the D2. Ensure SMD1206 is in the library path. Okay. Uh, you'll run into this if you have version 17.2 of the software. So what I have is the online DRC. You may have that in 17.2, I don't recall. Uh, but in 17.4, you have the online DRC. Now for, if you're in 17.2 or 17.4 for ORCID, you can go to tools, create netlist, and then you can create your netlist. Then the netlist files directory, which is Allegro by default, will show you where your netlist will be generated. It'll ask if you want to create it. It'll say yes. Now, I got my netlist generated and the session log will tell me what happened. All right, could not find downloads or something like that, but my, net, my netlist got generated. So this is just a warning. Let's see if it'll make a PCB. So if you do a PCB new layout, Allegro solve KM board, click OK. Hmm, yeah, it pulls, it tries to pull up a PCB actually. Let's go ahead and place components. So if I try to place C1, it attaches to my cursor, that gets placed. Let's place C2, then D1. Okay, see D1 doesn't place, D2 doesn't place. Notice they have the warning in ORCID capture. Whereas the rest of these components, um, The rest of these components get placed just fine because these footprints actually exist. So let's hide, let's close that. Now let's go ahead and create an outline. I'm gonna draw it and make it a 20 mil boundary. Click draw the outline, click OK. That looks good. We can save this PCB. But D2 and D1 are missing. The footprints are missing, so we can't place them. See? So how do we solve this? So let's go to ORCID Capture and look at some clues, right? The online DRC or DRC error, whatever you have, is saying that such and such footprint, ensure that this S, this footprint name is in the library path. So the first thing is, if you have a footprint name for your device, like if you right click edit properties for your D1 or something and you click parts and you scroll down to the PCB footprint property. Yeah, if the text is in there for the PCB footprint, that's fine. But there's a couple of things. The text needs to match the name of the file exactly. Well, it's not case sensitive, just the, the text has to match. And it's fine if you have the different case from the footprint name. So the, first of all, it's not finding it in my installation folder. So let's go to this PC. I know it's not going to find it because I didn't create this, this footprint. But if you go to cadence 17.4 share PCB PCB underscore lib symbols. This is the default library path when you install the software. This is the default library path for the footprints. LED. So if you made something that's SMD1206 LED, and it, it doesn't, it's not there, then it's not gonna show up. Another thing is if you, if you made a folder, let, let's say I made a folder um, with a custom footprint, right? I'm going to actually modify this footprint and make a, I'm going to modify this footprint and make a um, footprint named SMD1206. Sure. Let's, let's make an SMD1206 footprint. Yeah.
How you solve this problem is you make the footprint and you store it in a folder. You save that folder in the in the uh, you you save the footprint in a folder you, and you put that folder in the search path. So I have a, a, a footprint already created. Let's go to File, Save As. And we're going to call it the same name. We're going to call it, um, well, first of all, let's make a new folder and call it Custom Footprints within this default installation folder. And we're going to name it SMD 1206-1206 underscore LED. All lowercase, that's fine. Click Save. Now it created a PSM file. If you go in the command window, it'll say PSM got created, all right, with that file, with that file name. Here's what I'm going to do now. Because I created the footprint and put it in a folder that ORCAD PCB editor doesn't have like that ORCAD PCB editor is not already looking at like this folder I just created with the uh, call custom footprints ORCAD PCB editor doesn't know to look in this folder so if I try to run the PCB design sync for instance with my already created PCB I'll do sync if it if it if PCB editor knows where the new footprints are, it's gonna place them automatically. Like it's gonna create them. But it says warning device symbol check warning detected symbol such and such used by ref for used by D1 not found. The symbol either does not exist in the library path PSM path or is an old symbol from a previous release. See. So let's look at the library paths that it cares about. It looks in C cadence, share uh, such and such, share local PCB slash modules. PSM path, it looks for my footprints in my network folder and these other folders, right? So it's, and, and where it says blah, 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 symbols or share PCB lib symbols, even though I have a folder underneath this symbols folder right here called custom footprints, it's not looking inside, it's not looking in folders within this folder. I have to state it specifically. So let's copy this path. We need to add that path specifically to the settings in ORCAD PCB editor. So let's go to setup user preferences. And you go to paths, library, PSM path. Then we're going to add that path. Ah, uh, no, I don't want to do that. Let's do it this way. Paste. Let's see if we can be lazy about it. So PSM path. You can do pad path there. Um, yeah, let's just go with PSM path. Click apply, then OK save now in 17.2 you might have to close this software and then reopen capture and pcb editor but let's see if we can get away with just a design sync in 17.4 let's see how let's see if cadence uh made this a bit more seamless so to do that let's go to how do i do a design sync again oh yeah file design sync there are no connectivity differences to show, but that doesn't mean there are no footprint differences or updates. Now let's go to place components manually and see if it'll show up. And sure enough, it does. So design sync passes that netlist through again in a nice seamless fashion in 17.4. Why did it find these footprints? Because let's let's do a show element. So we're gonna do a, I'm gonna go application mode placement edit. Then I'm going to right click on my part or something, right? Uh, okay. Right click and then do a show element. Let's look, let's see what we can find out. This symbol name is the name we created for it. Where is the symbol located? It's in this library path, C cadence 
share PCB PCB underscore lib symbols custom footprints such and such that PSM see since we added the footprint folder where we actually have our footprint our custom footprints since we added that footprint folder to the PCB editor settings it found it and generated the netlist so if you run into that problem then that's how you can solve it I have more videos that explain creating custom library paths and also what PCB editor is doing when it looks for footprints okay so yeah check out more of my channel and subscribe if, if and if you like this video like this video you know do a thumb give it a thumbs up if just go ahead and do that I really, really appreciate it and also leave any comments you might have but if you really want to get in touch with me email me at kirish at hasofu.com now some of you may know that I'm also at kirish at learn or cat online.com but I'm retiring that email um, sometime sometime in the next few months maybe next year um, all right well that's the end of the this tutorial and how to fix footprint errors you might run into oh but also actually if I update my DRC that's interesting if I close this project and then reopen it let's see what happens huh my online DRC is still that way so I actually have to I don't know if this is a bug but it updates the, it passes through the information for the footprints but I think I have to close the capture software in order for the DRC to show that uh, to, in order for the online DRC to show properly let me pause this video okay voila yeah I restarted capture and yeah it looks like you do still need to restart capture for the online DRC to be updated capture grabs new information for library paths that are this established in PCB editor uh, so each time it restarts so you need to close it and then the online DRC shows that the footprints indeed do exist interesting note though if you right click on a part and then choose show footprint and the footprint is in the standard default footprint installation folder you'll be able to see it but if you make your own if you make your own footprints or store footprints in any other location then if you right click and show footprint it doesn't show the footprint even though it does have a proper footprint match to it so that's something that's an artifact of 17.2, 16.6, 16.5 as well, I believe. Where that's just that's just how it is. Anyway, just thought that'd be an interesting little tidbit there for you to know. All right, that's how you solve your PCB footprint errors. If you do still have questions on that, I have more videos again, and you can email me at kershadhosofu.com. Happy engineering.